Since it's getting close to Halloween, I thought we would talk about something a little scary. Here, this sphere is actually called the Demon Core. Now in the 1940s, this Demon Core was actually involved in not one, but two radiation accidents that actually killed two physicists. So in 1945, physicists were studying fission reactions, which is when nuclei break apart and release energy, and they built this plutonium gallium sphere about six kilograms. Now, as you probably know, plutonium is what we call radioactive. It's an atom that the nucleus is so large that the strong nuclear force that actually holds it together, that holds the protons and the neutrons together, the nuclei is so large that that strong force can't quite keep everything contained. And so the nucleus undergoes what we call radioactive decay. In other words, it spontaneously breaks down into lighter and lighter elements over time. And when it does that, it releases a whole bunch of stuff one of the things that the nucleus releases is neutrons that go flying out in all directions. So the plutonium is naturally unstable, and when it decays, it releases, as I said, neutrons. Now, if one of those neutrons hits an adjacent uh, plutonium uh, nucleus, then what it can do is that, that neutron goes in and causes the other atom to break apart into its daughter products, releasing energy and different atoms, and again, additional neutrons. If those additional neutrons hit additional uh, plutonium nuclei, then they decay and they release more neutrons. You see what's happening here? It's called a chain reaction. Literally one neutron causes something to break down to release five or ten more neutrons. Those go out and break apart more and more and more atoms. So the flux or the amount of neutrons you have has to be above a critical amount to cause the chain reaction to grow and grow and grow and that can lead to a nuclear meltdown. So around this demon core of plutonium they had these reflectors. When you remove the reflectors the neutrons can escape and get away from the rest of the radioactive material. But when you put the reflectors down close, they reflect the neutrons back in, causing more and more of a chain reaction. What happened was one of the scientists accidentally dropped one of the reflectors, physically dropped it onto the sphere. That caused a surge of neutrons to be reflected back in and caused it to go super critical, releasing a lot of radiation in the process. Now this happened not once but twice to two different people. They got a surge of radiation and that caused the first person to die after 25 days and the second person to die after nine days. The extra neutrons coming out literally destroy the cells on the inside. That's radiation sickness. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.